نبدا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم 10 9 2020 يتقدم الطالب بينادي محمد الحيثم الحيثم بتقديم او تطرق المذكره تاعو بيموار ديفندتي ماستر انتي تي انتي ديشن انتيريكال موديلين اوف كارتين تمبريتشر فور فور المينيوم اولايز ماشينز باي ميلينج Okay, so, uh, thank you so much, uh, dear members uh, and my my, CEO, uh, my my teachers. So, uh, first thing first, I would like to thank you for being here on my presentation day. Thank you so much for being here. So, starting with my uh, with uh, uh, with my thesis titled "At Home: The Dirigent and the Critical Modeling of Kelvin Temperature Phenomena in the Machine by My Lab." Sure, we're going to start with a presentation plan with the as follows. We're going to make an introduction about mining and metaminos. After that, we're going to present our problem. You know, what's the problem? Uh, furthermore, we're going to present the aim and objective, our results and discussions, and sure, we conclude at the end. Uh, here are the thesis work plan at your hands. Uh, we have four chapters, generative mining methods, other logic, linear regression, and result and discussions. So, starting with the introduction. As you know, mining uh, or uh, metal cutting is a very common type of machining, and among metal cutting, type, among metal cutting techniques, uh, mining is one of the most important ones. Uh, mining is easy to generate flat or free form surfaces, or 3D forms, uh, 3D surfaces, as you know. Uh, here in this picture, can show us clearly the two types of mining machines. Uh, they are structured as common knee types. And uh, aluminum has increased, uh, you know, the use of aluminum has increased recently significantly in how in the last decades due to its great properties. And aluminum alloy or machining of aluminum alloy is an important production activity in the iron article and mechanical parts, you know, due to its strength and uh, great properties such as like low density and a uh, lot of great properties that's what makes it the most used metal after iron. So, uh, in the manufacturing world, when we are, when we are about to make product, we have to make sure to make, uh, we have to make sure that we play on these three things that are the good product dimension, good surface quality, surface finish, machine precision. So we have three parameters that play this role, which are the cutting speed, feed rate, and depth of cuts. And the most uh, important factor that we have to play on it, which is the cutting temperature. Because it's yeah, like uh, the cutting temperature, we have three parameters that give it uh, like um, three parameters that lead to a cutting temperature which is like high or low. So uh, the interaction error of workpiece and the tool and the cutting tool, you know, uh, it, it increases the high temperature, and this will lead like uh, this will affect the integrity of the workpiece and the quality of the workpiece. As we said, we have three parameters that we have to play in. So measuring the cutting temperature at the cutting area is a is a is a hard task due to its uh, you know the access to that region, and that's why we have new methodologies to uh, measure it, such as like thermal camera and thermal camera. Now we're going to our problematic. We have two problematic in this thesis. The first one is how to study the influence of the cutting parameters on the generated cutting temperature. Second problematic, which is how to predict the variation of the cutting temperature during the mining of the minimum loss 1661 to 6 before getting into the process. To answer to this problem, we have made like, uh, uh, sorry, first thing first, I have to tell you about the aim and objective of doing this uh, thesis. We have four aims of our objective. First aim, which is study the influence of cutting parameters, which are free, time speed, depth of cuts, and feed rate on the average cutting temperature. And get optimal cutting parameters for great surface quality. After that, we give an effective solution to predict the cutting temperature before mining the aluminum alloys, as we used at this season 1661 T6. And the last aim, which is develop a simulation model with a great accuracy to be substitute for selecting the cutting temperature. So, uh, in my thesis, I've used two uh, models to predict the cutting temperatures are linear regression multivariate and fuzzy logic. In order to get the uh, cutting temperature values, estimated or to predict it. So, starting with the first one, with the first model, which is the fuzzy system, we have three inputs 
of uh, qualitative grades in depth of depth, and all one output. These are the linguistic variables for depth of depth, and the linguistic variables for um, for the pre grades, I guess. No, uh, for the kind of speed, from very low, which is very high, and the linguistic variables for uh, feed rate, from very low, until very high, from the high one, yes. So, these are, after we get, like, 60, based on 16 experiments or 16 uh, experimental tests, we have made, like, wait, there's a three membership functions, which are, which are triangle, Trapez and P is prime membership function. So this curve can show, this curve can show us that there is a huge similarity between the, uh, the experimental values and the three membership functions. As you can see, with the red one, the temperature, the, the, the experimental temperature, the green one, the trapez, and uh, you know, yellow one, and the, the blue one, P, P E membership function. So to make sure between the three membership functions we have uh, calculated the error and the accuracy of each one in order to make a choice between the three useful ones. As you can see that PM uh, membership function, we have 99.454% and these are the most close, I mean, the, the values of the PE membership function are the most, or they were the most closest one to the experimental values. So we have made a curve uh, we can see a huge similarity between the uh, PE uh, membership function and the experimental uh, values. And this is saying that our, our model of Vasa logic is correctly working and can be a solution, that's true. So um, before we speak about, uh, or before we compare, or talking about the accuracy, first thing first, we have to talk about the second model, or sorry, first, we have uh, the three epidemics, the temperature variation, uh, 3D surfaces, as we can see on this curve. Surface one, depth of cut, and feed rate. Um, what we have, minimum temperature is for minimum depth of cut and minimum feed rate. When the feed rate and depth of cut are high, the temperature gets high. Okay? Surface two, depth of cut and cutting speed. Cutting speed is the main is the main goal. I mean, if uh, the cutting speed we go high, the temperature go high, no matter what uh, the value of depth of cut. Surface so three, we have feed rates and uh, cutting speed. Feed rates goes up with the cutting speed, and this will lead to a high temperature. So if they go low together, the temperature goes up together in the same time. So second model is a linear version. Uh, second use model is a linear version multivariate. This are this is the main approach of the regression model. We can see uh, where C0 and C16 are the user coefficient. And x1, x2, x3 are as follow: carry speed, depth of cut, and feed rate. So after we made a program at MATLAB to use or to to start like um, um, we get like we get four uh, curves as follow: leverage plot, leverage plot where we see the effects of each data point, like made of 60 experimental tests. As we can see that there are three. I mean, the picture is not clear, but we have a horizontal line over here. Ah, yeah, that's very bad, yes. We have three points that are really relatively higher than the others. And on the Cook's distance plot, because this implies user to see the, uh, the influence of each data point, and you can see only one point relatively higher than the others, but that's fine for our system. I mean, it's not a problem for our system. Uh, we have the histogram of residuals, that's where we say, uh, this we ask ourselves if the our data is uh, normal distributed or not. As we can see that we have a global maximum over here from zero to minus zero five, and a, a local maximum between zero uh, from zero to zero. So we have the normal probability plot of residual. This is the main comparing between the normal data set, which this line and the our data set experimental. As you can see there, the points are nicely like, uh, uh, sorry, the points are really, I mean, between the lines. They are close to the line, they're not so far, so it looks really nice for our system. Um, right now, we, uh, we have four uh, use expression now in our approach. Our approach right now, we have like, uh, resuming into this approach. We have only, so to make sure 
we have the p-value is the p-value of each one, of each equation, are tender uh, zero, so we can choose it. If it is at, no, uh, it's not. It's it's out of our approach. So we have this uh, approach, and we can calculate each temperature. Right now, we have 16 temperature. So this is the main approach. And today we have uh, presented video presentation of the obtaining results from the regression model. As we can see, first surface between the current speed and uh, sorry between delta cam and chemi speed. As we can see, uh, right here. Whenever the uh, current speed of feed rate are down or are low, the current speed, uh, the current temperature will be low. At the same time, they go high, the, te the current temperature will be high. It will go high. Um, the surface too between the depth of cut and feed rate, as we can see, uh, increasing of the feed rate it will lead us to high current temperatures. And no matter what, uh, the depth of cut is not influencing that. All at this at this uh, model. So we have like uh, at the surface three first surface, which is between feed rate, uh, sorry, depth of cut and canning speed. As we can see, the canning speed uh, is increasing. As increasing of that of canning speed, we will notice an increase on canning temperature, and then, and at the same time, that depth of cut it, it won't like affect on our model. So um, after. Uh, uh, after, uh, yes, right now we're, we're going to make a cooperation between the two using yes, the fuzzy logic and uh, fuzzy logic as the PD membership function and the regression model, which is our model. As we can see, this is clearly shown as that uh, the fuzzy logic is close, super close, and a huge similarity between the fuzzy logic using membership. But uh, the accuracy of uh, the other, the other is not, is not like uh, it's close, but you know, it's like. Um, for a bit, it's not, it's not for a crazy manner. So, this is the, we have calculated the error rate of the regression model and fuzzy logic. As we can see, fuzzy logic is high person, 99.48%. The regression 93.48% with error rate of 6.5.7 and error rate of uh, fuzzy logic is 0, 6, 1, 9. Uh, sorry, 1, 5. So, as we can see clearly, that fuzzy logic was a really uh, and recommended one for, for accuracy measures. As we conclude our uh, presentation, we have made a comparison between the two obtained models. We have two fuzzy logic and linear regression models. As we can see, fuzzy logic, fuzzy logic is a very useful one with high accuracy, um, the high accuracy for predicting the current of crazy values before modeling the elementary lowest 1661. The great linear regression model, useful method for predicting the current temperature values, but not highly recommended for accuracy methods. I mean, if you need a if you need accuracy subset, don't use it. It's not recommended. So, uh, current temperature, log current speed, minimum feed rate, and minimum depth, uh, depth of cut, it will give you the, uh, the the great or the great value of current temperature that will give you a good product. Um, we have three parameters that we, have, that we were talking about. The first, in the first slides, current speed, feed rate, and depth of cut. Current speed is the key parameter that influences the current temperature. Low current speed is recommended, always. Feed rate, we have to make the uh, parameters, uh, you know, like minimum. It's not high, it's not low. Depth of cut should be always set at maximum. In a manufacturing side, that's we want, or that's our aim, Fuzzy logic is highly recommended to predict the current temperature before mining the aluminum alloys, uh, 166126, and on the final product, optimal current temperature equal a good, a good uh, surface quality and a good final product. Thanks so much for uh, your attention and don't hesitate to ask me any question. Thank you. Thank you so very much for بعد المداولات اتفقت لجنة المداولات على منح الطالب بن علي محمد هيثم شهادة الماستر في الصناعة الميكانيكية وتقنيات الإنتاج بتقدير ممتاز وعلامة 1920 مع تهنئة اللجنة وتشجيعه على مواصل دراسته العليا.